Lake Dolores, the magical water world that features the most exciting high-speed water slides. The family fun place that offers relaxation and incredible thrills just off the I-15 Las Vegas freeway near Barstow. We have made it to an abandoned water park. This place back in the 70s was a bustling water park. Tons and tons of people would come out here and hang out. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your kids. And now, obviously it's just a deserted wasteland that is honestly turning to a big area for art. A lot of very talented graffiti people I guess it's not graffiti at that point, but artists come out here and spray paint. But it's unfortunate some people tag over it. The whole floor's tagged up. So you gotta imagine, you know, back in the 1970s or something, this was a massive property with a huge lake on it. This area right here would have had a lot of people walking all throughout here, families and friends, enjoying their time. This spot wasn't quite inside the water park yet, but this is where they were probably selling hot dogs and stuff like that. Cool old restrooms right here. You think these are the restrooms? Yeah, have to be. What do you rate them? A 10, because you can go in there and no one else is going to bother you. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh yeah, these were probably the restrooms. Dang, there's an echo in them. Echo! Somebody painted a cow on the back. Pretty neat stuff. Let's check out this one. There's a lot of spider webs out here. This was probably a worker's hallway. Yep, these were the old bathrooms. You can see some of the old stalls right here too. Look at this whole thing right here. This is pretty neat. This must have been the old store or something. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. Whoever did that's pretty dang good. Someone from Mario right there. Oh yeah, they did a whole Mario skit. So you would have walked up here. Got a hot dog or something. Dang, this room doesn't echo at all. It almost feels weird how quiet it is in here now. Look at all these rooms. The stories they would tell. These places used to be real busy back in the day with people. A lot of stuff to do. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt if it's not healthy to be breathing in some of this stuff. Who knows what they were building with back in the day. Breathing asbestos or something like that. Because look at all these piles of junk. People come in here and just break stuff and just pile it up. Just like when we were at St. Thomas exploring that old ghost town. This place at one point was somebody's pride and joy also. And this was also some kid or some family's favorite place to come out and vacation. And now obviously you could see it's just a big graffiti area. Look at that old sign. I wonder if we're going to be able to find online what that place used to be. <laughs> you come walk in. They walk in sliding doors or something. They're playing a little bit of music. Waiter says, go ahead, sit wherever you like. Pick a seat, wait for your food. Look at all this stuff. Insulation falling out of the roof. This thing's pretty cool right here. It's got a big pillar in the middle. You know what? Forget a restaurant. This was probably an arcade. <laughs> you never know, but this is looks like kind of the design of an arcade I would guess. Look at this stuff right here. The wall designs and stuff. You have little kids running all through here at a big amusement park playing arcade games. This is where you would pay your way in back in the day. They probably had a fence and stuff covering right here. I would walk in, probably pay somebody to get in and then this is where those little twisty things would go and lock other people out so they can't get in unless they pay. Man they had a big fountain. So that big mound up there that we're going to make our way to was man-made. This palm tree fell over. You don't see that too often. But this place had a bunch of ponds back in the day, like lakes and stuff for people to hang out and swim in. This looks like it was probably one behind me with a little fountain or something in the middle. This place is pretty neat. If you guys didn't watch our last video, we like exploring places like this. Up here there's a link. We went to Zizix. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. That place is pretty cool. But this is right down the street from it, maybe 20 minutes down the road. And this place used to be paradise. This was like a dream place. I passed by it when I was a kid and it was just beautiful. And I guess it closed down 2004. Now look, kind of an interesting place. I don't see any like no trespassing signs or anything. And actually on Google, if you Google coming here, it says it's open, which is weird. I guess just the areas around here are open to come. And Take pictures, I guess, I don't know. Turn to a big like art center or something. Yeah. Would this be a place that you would come hang out at? Yeah. With all your friends? Yeah, this place is cool, it has everything. 
definitely would have came here. You're tired of the beaches. What you want you want to change every now and then, <laughs> you know? If you ever got uh, millions of dollars, would you try to fix it up or no? It's too far gone, huh? Nah, I'd probably just build my own place. Yeah, start uh, from scratch. Probably build something more near a city, a little bit closer, you know? So it's worth a drive, what, 150 miles? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Two hours so. and you're here. Yeah. Nothing's yeah, like this around hours. anywhere we live. I think that was their downfall the yeah. you know people going from la to vegas they really are trying to get there in a hurry they don't want a pit stop at this place yeah they're in the middle of nowhere but for his time he was trying to make this a final destination place yeah this place is definitely cool has everything you would want if you ever wanted to come to a water park or go have a good time but as of right now it's over it's history yeah. it's long gone it's just a memory Yeah. Look at this. This was the lazy river. So that big river down there. You used to be able to pull up your RV, do some camping, swimming, and I think even fishing. And then that water would go through filters. It would come down the slides. There was swings. A lawsuit ended up happening. They got sued for $4.4 million in the end because one of the employees got paralyzed. And that was just the final straw. Close this place down. That's a lot of money for a place like this. Looks like some people probably burnt that building down. Probably some kids ended up burning down one of the buildings. Man, this thing's cool though, the old lazy river. It's weird because you always see these things still in operation. You know, you go to them, you might bring your family to one and have a good time and you never see them shut down. This thing right here was another little swimming area. It looks like there used to be some sort of slide because you could see the old concrete things to hold up the slide that would go all the way up to the top of this hill. So you had your whole lazy river and swimming pools all around here and stuff. And then you had your whole long way up to the top where you had all these different water slides. So we're gonna go ahead and head up that way right now. It's a decent little ways for it being hot. But man, these steps are like not very big. You know, if you were soaking wet and then you came up here, coming up these stairs probably wasn't that safe. Now that's actually one of the reasons that this place never stuck around. It was well known as a very dangerous water park. A lot of kids got hurt out here. As you can imagine, back in the 70s, when this thing got built, safety regulations probably weren't as strict as they are nowadays. And when you have that happen, people start to get hurt. They had really steep and fast slides that went down into lakes and stuff. So people would go down on these slides and, you know, if you're familiar with water at all, and fast speeds water hurts when you go fast so people would go tumble on those slides and stuff hurt themselves they were metal slides so you know that would happen back to going up though if you're going up looks like they probably had you stop right here for a line in order to get up there into that slide but let's keep going up pretty cool to get like an overhead view of this place life always finds a way and it'll go on without us I was talking to my grandpa about that not too long ago and it was it was a pretty cool conversation because he thinks humans are destroying themselves right now but yet no matter what life will find a way to grow over everything we've done here and still continue. It's interesting to think that because although all this is concreted over and still here this is a desert so obviously it doesn't grow over as fast but sooner or later you know all of this one day will be buried and considered ruins that people will see a long time from now if civilization collapses and then rebuilds itself as it's done many 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 times before they'll look at all this stuff and say man what were these people thinking all of these petroglyphs they're gonna call them on the floors out here depicting stuff some weird stuff too <laughs> it'd be weird to see what they think about us at our current state oh there's some crows living on that thing But up here is the very top where all the different slides and stuff would be at. Look at that. Nothing but desert around here. It's so crazy somebody managed to build a water park out of here. So one thing that I do know is people are going to go ahead and ask, you know, where did the water come from? Obviously, right? We're in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Where did the water come from? Now, <clears throat> this water didn't come from Lake Mead. I know a lot of people might think that, but uh, this water came from underground. I'm pretty sure, I'm about 99% sure that there was underground wells here that they dug and they were able to maintain this place with underground water. I heard talks 
that they were thinking about renovating this place again and making it operational because at one point it was successful and continuing to succeed until people got hurt. You know, I'm not too sure how well something like this would do today, but that highway sure does have a lot of traffic and you never know. Look at all the people that drive down this highway. This isn't even a busy weekend. I'm going back down now. Wish there was one of those water slides with how hot it is. Nice, cool ride down into a little pool. We talk about history a lot. Now, a lot of times when people focus on history, they're focused on stuff that happened a long time ago. Now, obviously, that's for good reason, because when it happened 200 years ago, it just seems cool. You know, there's that almost nostalgic feeling being around there. At the same time, you don't always have to look that far back. This place did open in 1962, and uh, it closed down for the final time in like 2004, I think it was. So pretty much a majority of people watching this video, maybe, have been alive while this place was alive. You, you might have been here partying at some time or hanging out with your family and friends and doing your thing. You don't always gotta look back 200 years old. There's stuff around you that is only 20 years old that still is just super cool like this place. I think the real winner out of all this after all these years was whoever was selling the spray paint models because there is spray paint from head to toe on this place. You're talking a million dollars worth of spray paint. A lot of these people are talented. Look at this. That guy right there, you need to have a business. You need to have a business selling. Look at this. That right there, that's with spray paint, almost impossible to do. But I think in the future, stuff like water parks and, and things where people can actually get hurt, they're all gonna be shut down eventually. I hate to say it, cause they're a lot of fun and stuff, but people are so happy. You walk into somebody's property, twist an ankle or anything, you're getting sued. Uh-oh, the police are here. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. We travel, we vlog, take videos of these places that people always wonder about but never really stop. This is one of those places. I've passed it hundreds of times going in and out of Vegas towards LA. Never took the time to stop. The guy that did this risked everything. Unfortunately, actually fortunately, the first guy that did it cashed out, unfortunately for the company that bought it, didn't work out. Big lawsuits, big things going on and they lost it all. So this now is an abandoned water park, which will be abandoned forever it looks like. I actually heard of plans to fix it up. They were planning on fixing it up in 2020 like they had did a five-year plan to restart a water park out here but then i heard that uh i don't know i think covid shut it down so really unfortunate yeah so water rights is going to be a big issue here because california is greedy with their water out here in the desert thanks for tuning in we're having a blast we appreciate your guys' support with merch sales and everything else you guys are really uh keeping our channel going and holding it down for us to continue this so really appreciate it Thanks for watching. He's a victim to a cactus. My bad. Stuff on, on a cactus. cactus. Oh, I got some spinos in my heel right here. But don't show my heels. They're all dried up and crusty. <laughs> I was telling Juju to close out the video right now. Yeah, close it out. Close it out with what? Just talk. <laughs> all right. You guys feel the pressure. Just, on. yeah. Well, comment down below if you've ever been here, if you've ever seen it on YouTube TV, if you've ever driven by it. And especially if you ever gotten hurt here. We want to know. Comment it down below. Juju wants to know. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you outdoors.